What's going on guys? Joshua for the Love of Games. I hope you all had a fantastic week and are having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video. Today's video is going to be more of a PSA about AMD graphics cards and trying to use it with the Oculus Link and how it kind of doesn't work. But first, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory just so you can get some context as to how I came to this and how I actually fixed the issue. So a little while back, a friend of mine was looking for a VR headset and I just so happened to have picked up the Oculus Quest 2 and I had an Oculus Quest just kind of kicking around. So I offered to sell him my Oculus Quest 1 and then he later came to the realization that he wanted to have a PC as well to try and use the Oculus Link capability with my Oculus Quest 1 so we can unlock the capabilities and potential of the Oculus Quest and play more games than what just is on the store. So I also agreed to build him a PC as I had some parts kicking around and you know we just went and built a PC for him. So I had a 1700X and an X370 motherboard kicking around and this is pretty important for the story. I also had an AMD RX 580 lying around that I wasn't using and I was figured okay well I'll just put that in the build. So I built him the PC, I gave him the Oculus Quest, I gave him the PC, he brought it home, he gave it to his kids for Christmas, he brought it home, he unpacked it, he started using it and on Christmas Day he was trying to use the Oculus Link and it wouldn't work, it wouldn't connect to his PC. Now I had updated everything, I had made sure everything was working before it had left here and I don't know what happened. So after he had called me with this issue, we decided to hop on TeamViewer and I would try to fix his PC remotely. Well, I tried fixing his PC remotely and nothing I did would actually work. The link cable was still not working, the Oculus Link still wasn't working, and I could not figure out for the life of me why. And we had done TeamViewer for about three or four times and it just wasn't working. So we made plans for him to come here and I would take a look at the PC once again and I would try using the Oculus Quest on my PC to see if it actually worked. And when he came over, all the PC looked good, everything looked like it was connected. And when I hooked up his Oculus Quest to my computer, it worked absolutely flawlessly. Steam Link was working, Oculus Link was working, I was able to launch Steam VR, I was able to play Steam games with it, and I was able to use Rift games with it. So what gives? And this started to drive me absolutely up a wall. There's, there's not much difference between our PC. I mean, yes, he had a 1700X and I have a 3800X in my PC. I'm running an X570 board and he's got an X370 board. But that shouldn't really make much of a difference. They all support VR, they all have USB 3.2 Type-C, and it shouldn't be that big of an issue. So we decided it was going to be the link, the link cable it was going to be the issue. So we ended up getting another link cable, hooking it up, and it was still giving the same problem on his PC. And now I am going absolutely bananas trying to figure this out. So a little bit of time goes by and I decided, hey, it's got to be the motherboard. It's got to be an issue with the motherboard or the CPU combination. Something's going on. So I went out, picked up a new motherboard, got an X570 board from ASUS. We got an ASUS Tough Gaming motherboard. I then went and picked up an uh an Ryzen 3700X CPU, drop that in there, and once we got everything in there, it still was having the same issue. Windows configured, everything was going on, everything was fine, everything was working. Hooked up the Oculus Link cable, it was still kicking you out, it was still saying Oculus Link has encountered a problem. So at that point, I'm like, okay, something is severely wrong. So then I tried one more time hooking his Oculus Quest up to my PC, and lo and behold, it worked absolutely flawlessly. And the only difference between my PC and his PC really is the graphics card. I have a GTX 1080 graphics card in my PC and I had built him with an RX 580 from AMD. And the only difference, that's the only difference between the two PCs. So what I did was I did a little bit of digging. Now, mind you, this was Friday night. It was been four hours already, about three or four hours already. And I'm just going absolutely bananas. So I did a little digging on Google to see if there's any sort of Radeon driver problem with Oculus Link. And lo and behold, I found a post that said that AMD graphics, Radeon graphics are not working with the Oculus Quest within the latest update. So I'm like, okay, great. So now this kid can't use the Oculus Quest with his PC. So I did a little more research on it as I'm getting completely frustrated at this point. And what I found was that there was an older driver that still did support Oculus Link. So I'm like, great. I'll just roll back the driver and go from there. Now, 20.12.2 does not work with Oculus Link, but the latest driver that actually works with the Oculus Link is 20.11.1. So I went ahead and rolled back the driver, and lo and behold, everything worked absolutely perfectly from that point on. So this is a little bit of a PSA moment. If you have an AMD GPU and you want to use the Oculus Link, 
do not update to the latest graphics driver. And if you want to see how you can roll back your driver if you've already updated to the latest driver, hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on notifications because next week I'm going to show you exactly how you can roll back the driver in the easiest way possible. Now, this really is a shame that AMD is not supporting the Oculus Link like they should with their latest and greatest drivers. This is kind of an issue, and I know AMD's been having issues with their drivers for years now, and they have support and they drop support for things and they have more support for other things and drop all the support it's just a back and forth game with amd all the time now nvidia like i said i have a gtx 1080 and i've had zero problems with oculus link on either my quest 2 or my quest 1 and it's been working absolutely flawlessly so if you have an amd graphics card and want to switch to team green you can do that and it works just fine with no issues and i have the latest and greatest drivers installed on my pc for the geforce experience and geforce now and all that other stuff and it works perfectly fine with the oculus link i don't know why amd has such a big issue with supporting oculus link in their latest and greatest software but that is a story for another day apparently but anyway guys that is basically my psa on anybody who has an amd graphics card and wants to use the oculus link cable with it you have to roll back your drivers or it just simply won't work and that is a really big unfortunate shame on amd's part and they need to fix this as soon as humanly possible if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to see more content for Portal Love Games, be sure to check out one of the videos on the screen right now. We do VR gameplay, VR how-tos, and just gaming videos in general. But until next time, guys, I'm Josh with Photo Love Games, signing out. Have a great day.